Okay, so, we will talk about really a cool data structure uh, which is called van m de Boas data structure. So, this is the this is uh, to deal with the problem what is called fixed universe successor problem. fixed universe successor problem. So, basically we need to maintain a dynamic set S and this S the elements are coming from a uh, universe which is fixed, we know the universe. So, S is the S is a subset of the universe, universe are typically u minus 1. So, the size of the universe is basically small u. So, we know the elements they are basically from 0 to u minus 1 and the elements are coming from this. So, this set is dynamic. So, that means, we should able to insert a element. So, it should able to perform this operation dynamic operation insert insert an element x which is in u, but not in s and we should able to delete an element from S and we should able to find the successor of an element in U. So, that means, we, we want to uh, report the uh, element after X in S. So, suppose our S is like this, S is say 3, 4, 6, 9. Suppose this is our S at some point of time. Okay. So now successor, say suppose successor of we want to find out successor of three. So successor of three is basically the next element in S four. Now we can also query this successor of say five or successor of say 7. 7 is not in S. So, uh, it is not re, uh, not necessarily the, that successor query will be on the element which is only in S. It is any element in U. Uh, so, this is basically 9. So, this is the after 7 what is the next element in S? This is the successor. Similarly, we can have a predecessor. So, before that what is the previous element in S? So, this is the problem. So, for this problem we need to have a we want to design a data structure to and to solve this problem. So, can we suggest some data structure for this? So, maybe we can think of uh, say linked list. So, link list suppose we maintain a link list for this S. So, once we have a element, so we will we have a top and we just suppose there are n elements. So, this is the this is the list and last one is the null and there are elements and so now if we use link list then what is the time for insert if you want to insert an element x which is not in s. So, insert means we may have to insert here or we can have we may have sorted this. So, insert will take linear time for delete also if it is not sorted we need to find the element. So, that is also linear time. Now, the main thing is the successor query. So, how much time it will take for successor of. So, for successor even if it is sorted we, we do not know I mean we may, may not start from the that point. So, that means for successor again we need to scan the list to find out the next element. So, successor will take again linear time. So, we want to do something better than this. So, can you think about some tree like uh, 
binary search tree or balanced binary search tree, balanced BST. Okay. So, we have a n element and we maintain a uh, BST, I mean we can have a red black tree which is balanced we know. So, we can maintain a balanced binary search tree okay, like this. Okay. So, suppose this is a tree and now suppose we want to find out the successor for this. So, successor for this is basically this guy. So, we have to uh, we have to go to the from this node to the root. So, the time for the successor is log n base 2. Okay. So, this is if we use the tree, especially the balanced binary search tree. Now, we want to do something better than this. Actually, we want to do this in order of log of log u time. So, that is our target. We want to do the successor query or insert insertion in the order of log of log u. So, how we can get the time? This is log of log u. We can just write this log of log of u. So, where from we can get this time log of log of u? I mean any situation where our time complexity will be log of log of u. Any idea where from we can get this time? So, any recurrence you think which can give us solution this? Suppose we have a recurrence like this. Uh, see log log n we can get when we have a tree of size n and we are searching something there, I mean binary search. Suppose we have log u number of elements and we are doing the binary search, then it can give us log of log of u, log of log u. Now, we want to do, we want to know what recurrence can give us this solution. So, if we have this recurrence this, so if we have this recurrence, then the solution will give us log of log u, why? Because if we just put this u as a log u, then this will be a log of u by 2 and then by master method, this is basically log of log u. So, we want to get this type of recurrence for this problem. So, this is the, uh, this is our goal to achieve this recurrence, so that we can get the solution as log of log u. So, now the question is how we can get that. So, we will, this is the idea of Venn diagram and he has designed this data structure. So, you start with the array, this is the first step array or this is called bit vector. This is simply an array. Okay. Suppose our u is say uh, small u is say 16 and our u is say 0 1 to 15 and we have say number s is like this, we have taken say 3, 5, 6, 9. Suppose at some point of time, this is our number. So, what we do? We just maintain an array of size u. So, this is basically u array. So, it is starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So, this is the array. Now, if an if a element is present, we will put a 
1 there, otherwise we put a 0. So, 3 is present 1, 1, 1, 1. So, rest are 0. So, this is a really cool data structure, very simple data structure. This is just a uh, called bead vector, switch on off. If that, if that uh, room is on, light on, that means that element is present. Okay, so, this is the way, this is the, uh, this is uh, the array we use for this. Now, to insert an element, if you want to insert x, okay, suppose we want to insert uh, say 8. So, what we do? We will go to the uh, array 8 and we will put it 1, that is it. So, so, we will go here, it was 0, so now it is 1, if 8 has to be insert. So, this is the insert operation and delete is also same, if we want to delete say 5. So, what we do? We go to the u 5 and we make it 0, switch on off. So, this we make it 0 like this. Okay. So, how much time we are spending here for insert and deletion? For insert and deletion, it is just a constant time, we are just uh, bit on off like this. So, now the what about the successor? What about the successor query? Suppose you want to find the successor for say, uh, say uh, 0 or 1. So, successor query for successor query may be we have to scan this array. So, it, it will take basically order of u time. Okay, but we want to do it in better way. So, what we do? We divide this array into blocks. Uh, this is 16. So, we will divide this array into this many blocks and each of size root u. The block size is root u. So, that we will do. So, how to do that? So, so suppose this is our Suppose this is our number, so 3, 5, 6, and we have 9. Okay. So, we divide, so u is 16, so root u is 4, so we divide into 4 bits. So, here, 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 here. So, we divide this into 4 bits. So, this is the first 4 bit this is the second 4 bit. These are also called widget or the blocks. Okay, this is the first widget, we denote at w 0, this is w 1, w 2 and then we have w 3. So, we have basically 4 widget and this is basically w 0 0 w 0 1 like this w 0 3 like this. Okay. And the numbers we have, we have a 3 over here and we have uh, 5 and 6 0 0 0 0 0 and we have 9, 9 over here. So, sorry 9 is here 0 0 0 and all are 0. So, this is the way we represent as a blocks. So, this is the u is 4. So, this is how many blocks we have? We have root u blocks and each block size is root u. Okay. So, now how we can insert an element? Suppose we want to insert say 7. So, x equal to 7. So, 7 in how we represent 7 in binary? So, 7 is basically 0, 1. Uh, so, this is basically 4, 1, 1. So, 4, 2, 1. So, 7. So, this we denote by high of x and this we denote by low of x. Okay. So, high of x will give us the block number. So, basically we will go to w of high of x this will give us the block number 
and this law of x will give us the position in that block. So, this is basically we will make it 1, this is the insertion. So, insertion is basically we will go to that particular block or is it w of i of x. So, in this case this i of x is basically 2. So, we go to this. Uh, so, so high of x is sorry high of x basically is 0 1. So, it is 1. So, we go to w 1 and then we go to the in that visit we go to the low of x position low of x is basically 3. So, we go to the here. So, this is basically we make it 1. So, this is the insertion and similarly to delete we will do the same thing. So, we will go to the this x we uh, make it into two part high of x into root u. So, this is x can be written as this plus low of x. So, this is denoting the uh, which block it is belonging and this is the in that block what is the position. So, we will go to that particular field. So, w of high of x and then low of x will make it to 0 for deletion. So, how much time we are spending there? It is just a constant time. Now, what about the successor? What about the successor query? Okay. Now, suppose we have this situation, suppose we have uh, here it is 0 and suppose we have here it is 1. So, S is now, so 3, 3, then we have uh, 5, 6, 7 and then this is 15. Suppose, S is like this. Okay. Now, suppose we want to find out the successor of successor of say uh, 7, x is 7. Okay. So, what we will do? So, we first make it into two part high of x and low of x. So, we go to that w of high of x that particular digit and then we find out the uh, successor in that digit if there is if this is the last element. So, no successor exists here. So, what we do? Then we go for the we go for the next uh, block where we have we can find out the widget, but this block is empty. So, so, but we have to check it there is no way we can uh, can because we do not know whether this is empty or non empty then we cannot find here, then we will go for here, then this is the. So, how we can uh, augment the data structure, so that we will not go into this block. So, for that what we do, this is just a simple augmentation in data structure, we will put a extra bit of information which is non empty. So, this is the non empty bit. So, what we do, if there is a 1, we will put a 1. 1, otherwise if there is no 1, we will put a 0 and we will put a 1. So, the algo is now, so what we are doing, <coughs> suppose we are finding the successor of x. So, what we do, we look into the, look into, uh, look for successor of x within within the widget or within the widget w of high of x. We will look at within the widget w of high of x and uh, starting from starting from low of x. So, this is the first step. Okay. Suppose, we want to find the successor of say uh, 1, successor of 1 or 2. So, what is the high of x? High of x is 
0 and low of x is basically 0 1. So, low of, so this is basically 0 0 1 0. So, low of x is 2. So, we will start from this widget and we will start from this low of x after that we will find the next one we will find the successor in this block. Suppose, if, if this is 0 then we have to look at the next non empty block. If success are found then we success are found then we return it. Okay. Otherwise, we will just look at the uh, else look at the smallest smallest i greater than i of x for which for which w i is this widget is non empty. Okay. So, that means, we will if we are not finding here, we will look at the next uh, widget where we have a non empty. So, this is non empty. So, we will look at here. So, that is the idea. So, this is 2 and then in 3 what we do? Then we find the smallest uh, element in W i. So, suppose we know this is the non empty. So, we will return the smallest element. So, this is has 1. So, we will return this. So, this is the code. So, this is basically what is the time complexity for this. So, we are looking for a successor over here. So, this is size of this is root u. So, this is of theta of root u and we are again we are looking for a non empty uh, non empty uh, widget. So, that means, this is also a successor problem. So, we are look after that we are looking for what is the next one. So, that is also. So, this is also order of root u and then again in that block we are looking for a successor starting from say this is a successor starting from minus infinity to this. Okay. So, this time is basically order of root u, but we want this time is uh, log log u. So, for that we need to achieve this recurrence T u is equal to T root u plus theta of 1. So, how we can achieve the recurrence? So, we need to have a recursive call for this algo. So, can you define a recursive call for this? So, what is the recursive version of this algo? So, so can you have a uh, recursive call for this? Yeah. So, this is basically successor of uh, successor of say uh, in the w of h of x in this array after low of x. So, this is a successor call and here also this is also successor call where in the that non empty array non empty array. So, this is basically successor call of uh, yeah. So, let me write again successor on the non empty non empty array after this uh, h of x. So, this is also a successor call and the last ones once we know this is non empty. So, for this this is non empty now here what we are looking for we are looking for the first non zero element. So, that is basically also a successor call successor of sort of minus infinity in that widget w of i. Okay. So, basically this is a 3 successor call. So, the recurrence will be T u is equal to 3 T root u plus theta of 1. 
but this will not give us the log log u. So, we need to reduce this successor call to 1, there are 3 successor calls. So, how we can reduce the successor call to 1, only 1 successor call. Now, see if we cannot find here, then if we can find the successor here, then we are not going to these 2 level. Okay. So, and if we are not finding here, then we are going for these 2 call. So, how we can reduce this to one call? So, idea is we want to do the more augmentation on the data structure. So, as along with the non empty bit, we want to store the maximum and the minimum, maximum position up to where this one exists. So, if this is the array, so we have this. and this is the non empty bit along with this we have a maximum max bit max bit means if this is say 1 0 1 so that means this max bit will be 3 over here okay so this is the maximum position where 1 is so what is the benefit of this so for this if we know the maximum and if we are low of x is greater than maximum, then we we know that there is nobody here which is a successor. So, we will not call this successor call for the first case, then we will go for successor call over here in this non empty bit. Okay. Now, if we know the maximum is this maximum bit is greater than low of x, then we will do the only one successor call there, because we know there is a successor, okay. but if there is no successor there, then we have to look at the first non empty bit suppose this is 1 and then suppose 1 0 1. Now, here we need to get the successor. So, how we can get that? So, we will just do further augmentation we will put minimum also, because we already made a successor call. So, we will put the minimum. So, minimum means this minimum is 1, this minimum is also 1 that means where the so, this this will give us the successor of x. So, we will just look at this minimum and we will return that. So, basically we are doing only one successor call. If low of x is less than maximum, then we are looking for the successor in that block that is one call. If not, then we are taking a call to get the successor in this. I mean so non empty uh, element in this, then we going to the particular widget and then we are returning the that particular minimum element over here. So, only one successor call we are doing in any case. So, that is the reason our recurrence is plus 1. So, this will give us the solution log log u. So, this is the idea of van M de Boas. So, this is really, really a cool data structure, and we are uh, by this augmentation, we are getting this uh, time complexity. Okay, thank you.